Hello everybody, this is Havoc, and welcome back to Oriental Empires. I haven't been staying on top of this, and really it's only Wednesday, it's only, we've only missed two days. But there's been a lot going on with the channel, a lot going on with other things, and I sincerely apologize for not continuing the Dong Yi campaign. So this is part two, and in part one, uh, we got a little overzealous and a little over cocky, but... I think overall we will be doing okay. We took a Pinshan, we tried to take Lin Shao, that didn't work at all. And now we are at peace with the White D and we are exporting to them, which is going to give us quite a bit of income here in a little bit. And not only that, but we are going to work on building a foundry and a bowyer potentially, making Lin Pinshan one of our big development centers since they have access to three of these guys. Not only that, we need to build a road to try and connect trade to Lin Zi and Zhao Dong, and then we're going to work on building a settlement. So, all in all, Ping Shang has a uh, population declining. We need to build some, oh yeah, majorly. We need to build some farms over there to try and help out with that. And then we have, we are going after some rebels, and I do believe, uh, oh yeah, we just retook this. That's right, from the Han. Amazing, amazing. So we might go after these guys today as well. I don't really know. It just depends on what all we can do. Going after those bandits. <coughs> and I've actually learned quite a bit as of late. So I'm hoping, uh, no. I'm hoping that we can get things worked out. Bumper harvest in northern China. Public unrest, minus 20. That's awesome. I really like that. We need to build some more farms, though. Lindsay, Zhao Dong. Turmoil. We can't do anything for another turn. And are we still technically at war with anyone? We are at war with the Shang. Now, the Shang have a very much a superior <laughs> army. But I think we could probably... Uh, actually get at peace with them. Let's see if we can. Peace agreements, peace for 50 turns. They're not going to like that. Okay. They are stronger than us for sure. Absolutely 100%. A foundry is... Actually, here we go. Civic buildings. Pottery workshop. But a foundry is good too because it produces bronze for trade. But so would a pottery workshop. And that has no upkeep. That's one of the kickers. Uh, can we build roads? We cannot build roads yet. Let me look and see what I'm researching because I really just don't remember. Looks like we got six turns until we have a road building. We're researching thoughts. Yeah, we're doing a bunch of good stuff. Okay. It's all good. Battle report was a crushing victory. Uh, ba -bum. We need to get a silk trade going because I have a mulberry access. And that is very crucial for uh, that. Other than that, though, we could probably just camp in Zhao Dong. Or we probably actually need to go into Lin Zi. Or Ping Shan is probably what we need to do to get that unrest going. Unfortunately, I can't hit another noble until um, a wee bit later. So, overall, we're not too bad. Two out of our three cities are walled. Zhao Dong really needs a wall, but we're going to focus on economics for just a little bit. This episode, Fraternal Harmony Pack and a single payment of 208. Yes, my friend, I will do that. Chi increase. The lands have been pillaged. Uh, let's just put a general, put one of our generals, and then one of those generals will actually go over here. We built a farm in Pingshan. There we go. And then we're going to work on a pottery workshop. We're again, really focusing on that economy because, as you can see, I bumped up. I've almost doubled my income just in a couple of turns. So, it just makes sense. My general is going to come down here and he's going to take on some half naked bandits. Oh, yeah, they should slaughter them. Ah! Oh, just get wrecked. 
get wrecked. We did not even lose a single troop. But you're talking about fully armored soldiers versus, again, some half-naked bandits. So, no worries there. We built another farm in Lindsay. There we go. We'll just build a few farms. I We will definitely balance out everything that's going on, but it's, right now we'll be okay. And then a battle report was a crushing victory. What's in here? Just a roving army. I thought that I had... This must not have been in that campaign. I thought that I had... Um, what am I thinking of? A person auto-exploring, which honestly I could do. If I have a soldier... Uh, no, actually you're going to go back to there. That's what I said you would do. Now the thing is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If we build enough there, we should be able to really get working. And again, wow, look at that. 19 for an export value of 3 for an export value of 8 crazy and then we actually need to expand over here yeah that's what I'll do because if I expand over here I'll get access if it's adjacent to me until someone builds a city directly over it I will have access to that and then I'm actually just gonna see if I can't expand my territories a little bit to kinda push the white D out because I want to maximize my city and truly don't care about theirs except for economic reasons. And we're all really leveling up in uh, citizens as well. Xiaodong. Let's go ahead and just work on that. We have unemployed. We have 10 people unemployed. Unfortunately, we cannot build anything. But I could have some people go to work. Doing things of that nature. And then, oh, a monastery, a pavilion, a pavilion. It probably wouldn't hurt to build one of those when I can. And then we also need to work on, oh, we do have a mine, don't we? We do. I've already tapped into that. Sweet. We do need to work on a quay, though. Or a key. You know what? I'm calling it a quay. I'm sorry. That's just what I was raised as, so I'm going to call it a key, a quay because that's what makes the most sense to me. What is this? Oh, I thought something was happening. Hold on real quick, guys. Craft progress ceramic roof tiles. A pottery workshop has been built, and that has just doubled our income straight up. And right off the bat, we have really got some good trade going. And we need to be able to connect over here. Very badly. Technology warning. Yes, that's right. Uh, let's actually do a silk weaver because I need that. And then next turn, we will build... Let's see. I need to be strategic. So I might build a settlement over here because we are herders. So I want to get that herding in. And then we can build another city down here. We need to remember our edicts. Um, and how, guys, there's, I'm a little distracted this morning. I do apologize. Oh, kiddos are doing stuff. So just give me a second. Okay, and I'm back. So we have a disease outbreak in Jiaodong. We have farm in Jiaodong as well. Oh yeah, they're perfectly fine. Uh, you guys are doing good. The only thing you can build are keys. You can build keys and pavilions. Now, someone said in my stream the other day that shrines develop... Um, develop... Oh goodness, tourism, basically. Uh, and so, if anyone knows if that's true for monasteries or pavilions as well, then that would be great. Let's see. I don't know, we'll have to just check that out and make sure. Because that would be really interesting and really nice to have. 
Oh, and we got access to those rhinos. Like I said, we would. And if I could get access to that deer, that would be great as well. Or those deers. Alright. Um, we still have access to that, but I don't... Oh, I haven't even built a bazaar. Ooh, but you know what? We need to build a civilian. And then I need to escort him. Move along, guys. Move along. Let's see. The White D of Fraternal Harmony Pack. I don't want to do that at the moment. I will probably eventually. I don't necessarily want to go completely peaceful. Uh, because that's not really fun, I don't think. But. I do... Uh, I do want to expand and I mean obviously the more trade that I have the more powerful I am essentially I mean that's true to pretty much any extent and so we'll just have to see let's see one two three four no let's go like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve no is there more is there better at one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, no! So we may actually want to build like right here, if possible, or like right here. Because I need to have that go between between all those guys to really develop that area. And we may build over here eventually because there's food. There's a ton of food. And I still may build over here as well to get access to those rhinos and that mulberry. So, we'll just have to see progress in knowledge, hot, cold therapy. Uh, let's go horse domestication or medicine. I'm going to go horse domestication. Let's take a look at our edicts. We have the Grand Commandment, which adds a general character, but we get authority minus one for 20 turns and then permanent effects, which really isn't good for me I don't think and then uh, the noble families are grown proud and lazy in their count country estates and are disdainful of our authority let them come and live in the capital where they may serve us better and we can keep our eye on their schemes I'm gonna take a look and see if I can afford that if I can I will that makes a lot of sense and uh, looks like we could afford it especially if I could get some tribesmen in there Because that will reduce that. So you know what? We may just go ahead and do that. Because that's authority plus two permanently. Which would be really, really helpful. Let's issue that edict. Yeah, they're going to be mad for a little while. But they'll be okay. I don't have any issues with that. Let's move. These guys are clearly not going to move out of the way. So we're going to move out of the way for them. Because they're idiots. And we'll go down here and establish that trade route, and everything will be just dandy. Super excited. I do miss Oriental Empires. I have always really enjoyed this game, even when I'm failing. And that's a really good thing to say, <laughs> to know, and to say. Oh, guys, got a general coming in. Come on. Really? You cannot agree to this? What about 200? Very well we accept. Brilliant! Awesome. So we now have a piece with them. Which is perfect. Uh, and then I'm actually probably going to build a foundry. Or, you know what? I actually think I might automatically turn this thing into some wooden palisades. That makes the most sense. Um, where? Over here? Get into that city. And we'll be good. Awesome! <coughs> now I just need to build a bazaar in here. And we will have access to almost all of the uh, settlements. And then we could build another settlement here pretty soon. And then we'd have access to their capital as well. As well as cross trading over into Lin Shao. 
let's see what is this value at 22 it's not too bad really need to build a thing there 500 500 gold that's not a problem one thing also is this uh, and I don't know how honestly effective it is uh, and then Haxo actually had the problem earlier or in one of his streams but I can attack any troop in my territory without declaring war which is a really really useful uh, thing to be honest let's see who's so like I can attack that guy because he's within my my settlement so I have every right to and that's just really really cool I like that I, I just like that I like that idea that they aren't just gonna plow through us basically like they can't just pillage for no reason does that make sense hold on we're just gonna try to coordinate this why can't I build right here maybe I can once it's done overall though our guys aren't too upset these guys wow they built up fast didn't they you guys uh, and then clear a forest and then build a farm awesome farm and Pinchon how are they looking they probably need to take a little bit of a break especially since they're gonna be building a whole bunch of roads oh they moved out okay we need to keep building our military we can afford to and then I'm actually gonna have them build a bazaar right there right off the bat and they could actually go ahead and build a pottery workshop as well I'm gonna make this kind of a hub oh that's a bug okay I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna take advantage of no if it's not realizing that then I'll just keep it how I had it okay very well very well these guys are building roads uh, we could build some nobles and then build another civilian Uh, boom 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 and then like I said I really want to build a settlement here these guys come back seriously you're just gonna have to move back because he isn't gonna do anything he's not gonna move out of the way there we go just get him out of my territory get back oh no never mind hold on okay so we progressed it progressed in silk I'm gonna go right here we need to be able to make sure that we have enough people to or enough uh, money to build a palisade right away because this will become a pretty big hotbed um, all right let's look at Zhao Dong they're doing okay these guys are doing okay what about road wise we're working on it J G Bay Lindsay is working hard because everybody's working for the weekend and then what about ping shang we see it's like oh my word coordinate people I just don't get the road system the road system is a little bit broken because I just I can't connect these two cities and I shouldn't have a problem connecting those two cities oh wait here we go nope 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 Lindsay oh we're almost we're almost we'll see if it happens technology warning that's right we've progressed in craft we need a churn drill which allows us to have a copper mine things of that nature 
And then Zhao Dong really needs a walled settlement as well. Get back to here. Thank you. All well and good. Now we do need to build across the river. So we'll see how well that goes. Again, I just want to be able to get like to here. Like I don't understand why I can't build that road. Because that's what's required in order for us to get trade across. And if I can't do that anywhere, then we are in big trouble. I do absolutely just love this soundtrack. I would have this soundtrack playing all day if I could. Because it's just that good. Hint, quell unrest. I don't have unrest. Are you kidding me? No one has unrest here. Seriously, though, do we have unrest? We shouldn't. I mean, we have that for a little bit, but that edict should be already in place. Uh, let's see. Noble unrest. Um, local factors, distance to capital, previous agreements, and relocate nobles. Okay, so we still have that effect going on, but that's not really an issue, I don't think. Okay, so we got roads going. We have this road going into the river. Oh, and we can even connect right there with Lindsay, but we cannot seem to build right here. That's incredibly frustrating. But more importantly, we need some farms now. So that's what we will do. These guys are just hungry. My goodness. Let's go ahead and expand out there. And we'll go ahead and expand out there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Doing lots of good stuff. How are our exports going? Value of 23. Have you built anything? Oh, you have. Good. Uh, silk weaver won't benefit us at the moment. A foundry would, but again, I need to make sure I have enough money for when these guys get over there. G, G Bay, Jabe. Again, I don't know why it's taking so long. Number of turns to build. Well, we've had more than that, and that shouldn't be an issue. Let's go ahead and go to Ping Shang plus a general over there will actually really help suppress. Uh, unrest. Being in this location is not all that great, to be completely truthful. Especially since they changed the mechanic of uh, not being able to, or to have to having roads to build or to access trade. I knew I was going to stumble through that sentence somehow. See, but like I can't even like get through here. I can go across. And then Lindsay. This is so awkward. It's just not letting me. It's just unable to let me do that. Which is just incredibly frustrating. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're able to go with each other. It's just not going to let us. Really kind of dumb, if you ask me. Crossing the river. Oh, not this turn. Maybe the next turn. Come on. There we go. Um, The white D for total harmony pack. Sure. For eight, I'll do it. Why not? We're about to cross the river. Farms and roads and roads and farms. Take a look at unrest. Unrest is just really low right now, guys, and I really like that. 
clear that forest. Shaibe is working on clearing theirs. You can go there. I don't... I need to... Let's see. Go there. Ping Shang. Lin Zi as well. Is doing a good work. Let's go ahead and clear those. Um, and again, we're just not seeing a whole lot of unrest, which is awesome. I really like seeing a little to no unrest. We do need to build... You know what? Let's build a... I know what we need to do. Ping Shang. You're going to build a foundry. Let's see. So we can build better stuff as well as get... I know I said that I need to... But I also need to get more trade in. And I also need to make stuff to make this a military hub. And I'm considering making this a military hub as well. I mean, there are two most outpost settlements. And we are way behind in military. I think I'll go right there. Progress in thought, the Oracle Bones. <laughs> Excuse me. So let's go ahead and get down to National Myth. Um, and then let's get him out of the way. See, look, there's absolutely like no unrest here whatsoever. It's incredible. <gasps> I got the hiccups going. Road, 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 road. It just makes me, oh, it just kind of infuriates me, to be honest. Because I need to get across that. But of course, you know, both of us could build keys which would work, but I don't want to have to do... I shouldn't have to do that. Like, I shouldn't have to find a way to deal with it. It should just come naturally, and it's really frustrating. Um, you know what? Let's actually... We don't need this. Let's see. Enough people are building... I really just want to get that palisade, and I think the reason why I'm not building it very quickly is because I have a lot of other buildings queued. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Boom. Very nice, okay. So. Boom. Very nice. And then we're gonna go ahead and, oh we can't, next turn, we'll build some defenses. Hmm, hmm, hmm. dum these guys, yeah we really gotta work on building up our army. We can afford to. I don't really need a large standing army, I don't feel. And we probably could even get access. You know what? We could build a city over here. I shouldn't have to, though. And plus, those are marshes. I can't really do a whole lot with that. Uh, for Tunnel Harmony Pact, that is a negative Ghost Rider. A foundry in a Ping Shan. We are just exporting a lot of stuff to these guys, and it's awesome. And I love it. And then these guys can build a palisade. Uh, and these guys are working on it. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Boom. Boo, boom. Doom, do, 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 do. Progress in craft, churn drill, and then we're going to go right down here so we can get an armor. And what else did we do? What else did we do? A wooden palisade in Jebel, or Jibay, excuse me. Whoops. And, uh, yeah, they're a little bit hungry, but they're okay. Population is exploding. That's okay, though. Population growth, 20%. And these guys are doing pretty good. I'm really not going to do anything with them. See, look, we just have all of these roads, and I don't know what to do with them since we can't do anything with them. 
It's like, why are you building, like, one off of each other? I just don't get it. It's really, really kind of frustrating. Because I don't have any way to cross this, and I need that for trade, and it's just not working. It's just... It's not working. Uh, it's really, really, really bugging me. Anyways, we'll build a bazaar there. And now we have a road that we can go through all the way, which is awesome. Boom, 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 boom. Progress in knowledge. We have horse domestication. That's fantastic. Uh, we could get down to horse riding, or we could go to five elements, or we can go to medicine. Uh, we'll go with medicine, actually. Still can't build a pottery workshop. <coughs> Probably need to build a farm. And you guys are unemployed. Well, you know what? Build the big the buildings that I need you to build. How about that? There we go. And then these guys could build a farm. Uh, Lindsay. Again, we're just oh, it's just uh, brr, 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 brr. Trying not to get super frustrated, but it's really, really hard. Something as simple as building a daggum road shouldn't be that hard. I mean, right there. Just build it right there. Super frustrating. Uh, these guys aren't growing at all. Let's build some more farms. Pillaging? Oh, that's not me. Okay, good. No worries, then. Building it up. Road clearance and another road. Yeah, this is just, like, civilizations are going to look back at this and be like, what the heck was he doing over here? He's trying to find a freaking route. It's impossible. But overall, I mean, our... our Peasant unrest isn't really bad. Like not one single bit. And plus, with each new peasant, we get a lot more. We get money from it. So it's like, why not? Yeah, let's go ahead and build a bazaar there. That's what I was wanting to do. In the turn again. And we will probably turn Langi into a military settlement as well. Maybe Jibei, not so much, but Langi and Pinchan will probably become those. Signaling unlocks the barracks. Brilliant. Like chariot, gentlemen ride chariots, we will get that upgrade when we can because it is 100% worth it. Zhao Dong, uh, why can't I build a barracks? Because I need a palace and I have a grand, so I'm going to build a palace. Boom. We're moving through pretty quick now. <laughs> it's also possible that if I build here, that I can get a road. I don't know. We'll try and figure it out. It's just dumb. Noble unrest. There is no noble unrest. Are you kidding me? We have very little noble unrest. You don't know what you're talking about, lady. Hint. Yep. Disease, farms, farms, and farms. What is this? Three buildings of the max four allowed. We are building that, though. So, guys, that will be the end of the episode, though. We are building a palisade here. It should be done in a couple of turns. And uh, we are working on making Pingshan a mi military settlement, essentially. We're going to work and try to get trade going through here. We don't have trade going through here yet. These guys haven't even started on this. I don't know why they haven't started on it. And then we're going to build through here, which we can get access to these guys. Trade with all these guys will really boost our economy and allow us to really um, really exert our military prowess because we could field large armies. Anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, I do very much apologize for the lack of episodes. Uh, everything just went kind of haywire yesterday 
with um, the release of Cossacks, and my whole schedule was thrown off. So, I do hope you will accept my apologies. Uh, but if you did like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. This is Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace!